Welcome to my channel, Movie Recaps. Today, we are going to delve into the intricate plot of Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning Part 1, 2023. Our cinematic journey begins in the heart of the ocean where a Russian submarine named Sevastopol is carrying a perilous computer device. This device is unlocked with a unique cruciform key, divided into two halves. The crew spots an adversary submarine launching a missile at them. Astonishingly, both the enemy sub and their own missile vanish, only for their missile to return and obliterate the Sevastopol, claiming all lives aboard. Ethan Hunt, portrayed by Tom Cruise, is visited by a novice IMF agent under the disguise of a food delivery person. IMF director Eugene Kittredge, played by Henry Cherney, has a new mission for Ethan, to retrieve the special key being used for potentially disastrous purposes. He also reveals that Ilsa Faust, played by Rebecca Ferguson, might have gone rogue and is in possession of one half of the key. The mission also involves someone from Ethan's past, the reason behind his decision to join IMF. The narrative then takes us to the Namibian desert where Elsa is hiding. Ethan alerts her to his presence, leading to a chase sequence involving mercenaries, Ethan, and Ilsa in the midst of a sandstorm. Ethan and Ilsa manage to fend off the mercenaries, but Ilsa appears to be fatally injured. Next, we have Kittredge meeting with a group of intelligence agency leaders, named The Community, led by director Denelinger, played by Carrie Elwes. They discuss the entity, a self-learning and sentient computer device that has infiltrated several networks, including the Russian sub. Ethan, disguised, incapacitates the whole group except Kittredge, confronts him about the bounty on Ilsa, and escapes using a mask of Kittredge. Joined by Benji Dunn, Simon Pegg, and Luther Stickle, Ving Rames, Ethan devises a plan to track down the person responsible for the entity. They learn about a possible buyer for the key at an Abu Dhabi airport. However, they are pursued by Jasper Briggs, Shea Wiggum, and his partner Degas, Greg Tarzan Davis, agents from the community. At the airport, a thrilling chain of events unfolds, involving a chase sequence, a bomb scare, and the introduction of new characters, Grace, Haley Atwell, and Gabriel, S.I. Morales. After a series of confrontations and near misses, Ethan decides to abort the mission. We then follow Ethan to Rome, where he finds Grace. He learns that she was hired by an anonymous person to find the second half of the key. After a high-intensity chase sequence through Rome, Grace manages to escape Ethan once again. Ethan then reunites with Benji, Luther, and Ilsa. They discuss the entity and Gabriel. We learn about Marie, Mariella Garriga, a woman close to Ethan who was killed by Gabriel before Ethan joined IMF. The team then plans to infiltrate a party in Venice where Gabriel is expected to attend. At the party, they encounter several familiar faces, and the tension escalates. They learn about Elena Maupolis slash White Widows, Vanessa Kirby, possession of the other key half and her involvement in the intricate plot. Amidst all this, Ilsa gets fatally stabbed by Gabriel. Following Ilsa's tragic death, Grace, feeling remorseful, joins Ethan, Benji, and Luther. Ethan promises to keep Grace safe, while Luther works on eradicating traces of the entity from his hard drive. He advises Ethan not to kill Gabriel as he's the only one who knows the purpose of the key. The team formulates a new plan to follow Alana, who is set to meet with a buyer for the key on the Orient Express. Aboard the train, Gabriel and Paris take control, pushing the train to its maximum speed. Ethan, who couldn't disguise himself due to a malfunctioning mask machine, tries to board the train on a motorcycle while Grace assumes Alana's identity. Gabriel confronts Denelinger, who reveals the Sevastopol was testing its stealth capabilities using the entity's network when it was taken over. Gabriel, after gaining this information, kills Denelinger. Ethan, forced to parachute onto the train, joins Grace who is now meeting with the keys buyer, revealed to be Kittredge. Despite the temptation, Grace rejects the payment for the key. Chaos ensues when her cover is blown, leading to a high-stakes chase throughout the train. Gabriel plants a bomb to destroy an oncoming bridge. Ethan and Grace work to detach the train cars while ensuring the safety of the passengers. Paris, who Gabriel had left for dead, saves Ethan and Grace from a fatal fall from the exploding bridge. She provides Ethan with a crucial clue about the Sevastopol before losing consciousness. Grace, determined to make amends, decides to join the IMF. Gabriel, thinking he has won, discovers that Ethan swapped the key with a lighter, leaving him enraged. Ethan, now in possession of the key, is given his next mission by Kittredge, to locate the Sevastopol and save the world. With this new mission, the thrilling first part of Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning comes to an end. That's the end of our recap today. 
Thanks for tuning into Movies Recaps, and stay tuned for more Movies Recaps and discussions. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more content.